AMD had several big announcements at CES 2019, but the biggest was probably this, the AMD Radeon 7. This is the company's new high-end graphics card. It's going to cost you $699. It has the latest Vega architecture, and really across the board, all the specifications are about the best that you could possibly imagine. It does have a pretty serious competitor though, in NVIDIA's RTX 280. So let's see how the AMD card holds up. Now this card is called the AMD Radeon 7. Why 7? Well, because it's built on a 7 nanometer production process, which is the first video card to offer that. However, I'm not sure how much you're going to notice that in actual day-to-day -day use. It's not like something you're going to see when you just boot up your computer. A more noticeable thing might be the amount of memory this card has, which is really cool. It's got 16 gigabytes of high bandwidth memory too. Uh, plus the memory bandwidth is one terabyte per second, which is insane. That's more even than NVIDIA's RTX 280 Ti, the most high-end card. That's one that costs $1,300. And if you're a gamer, that's about as expensive a card as you're gonna buy. This actually beats that there. So that should have some interesting consequences when it comes to performance. Now before we get into the performance numbers, let's take a quick tour around the card. It's a very nice looking video card. It has a nice silver chassis, mostly metal. Uh, it does light up here along the uh, Radeon text there in on this little logo cube on the side. That looks really cool. It's a very elegant design overall. In terms of the size, well, let's take a look here. Here's the Radeon 7. Now this is a Vega 64. All right, so put that on top of there. And then we have an NVIDIA RTX 280. Uh, this is the standard Founders Edition. And there you have it. Now these cards are all pretty similar in size overall, especially in their height. If we sort of turn them over here, you are gonna notice that the Radeon 7 is a little bit uh, wider than the other cards, but it doesn't make a huge difference in your system. All these cards are gonna more or less fit in the same rigs. Uh, only other thing to really note about these cards uh, is the power connections. And uh, on the RTX 280, you've got 6-pin, 8-pin. Um, uh, whereas on the Vega cards, the Vega 64, and more importantly, the AMD Radeon 7, you got two 8-pins. These cards do draw a little bit more power, so you just got to keep in mind you need to have that two 8-pin connection available on your power supply. Now before we get into the performance results, let's talk about the test rig. This has an AMD Ryzen Threadripper 1950X processor in game mode, and that's paired with 32 gigabytes of DDR4, 2400 megahertz RAM, and a Samsung solid state drive. I think that's all the relevant specifications. That's a little different from a lot of other uh, test rigs out there. They tend to have Intel processors, but ours with the Ryzen uh, Threadripper is going to have a lot more uh, multi-threaded performance, so it should be interesting to see how that ends up affecting these video cards. Now we focused on three games, Civilization VI, Deus Ex, Mankind Divided, and Battlefield V. And we played those games at three different resolutions, 1080p, 1440p, and 4K. Now with Civilization VI, that tends to be a pretty processor bound game, and that's what we saw really with these video cards. All, at all the resolutions, the processor was a pretty predominant factor. There wasn't a huge amount of variability. Now by the time you get the 4K resolution, you do start to see things sort of go the way you would expect. The RTX 280 Ti is the fastest card, but the Radeon 7 is the second fastest by a few frames, and then you've got the RTX 280. So it does end up being a win for the Radeon. Now Battlefield 5 is a very beautiful game and a recent game, and we tested all the cards in that and saw that actually it turned out pretty well for the Radeon 7. It beat the RTX 280 at every resolution that we tested at and every detail setting that we tested at. And at 1080p resolution, the Radeon 7 actually was neck and neck with the RTX 280 Ti, which was interesting. And overall is a great result for the Radeon 7. And then we have Deus Ex Mankind Divided, which we keep around because it's really graphically demanding and it requires a lot of memory as well. So that did put all our cards to the test, especially at 4K resolution where they all were struggling. None of them got 60 frames per second on average. Still, good results for the Radeon 7. It came behind the RTX 280 Ti, as you kind of expect, but it did beat the RTX 280 by as much as 10 frames per second at 4K resolution, which was a really impressive result for the Radeon 7. 
So overall, the performance of the Radeon 7 does seem to stack up really well against the RTX 280, which again, remember, that's the main competitor. It sells pretty much at the same price as the Radeon 7. And it's interesting to see how well AMD's card does. They've put more memory on this card, and they've sought more raw performance. Now, NVIDIA's thing is they have ray tracing. This card does not have ray tracing. So you just can't use that feature. Battlefield 5 is a great example, all right? That has ray tracing available in that game. You have an NVIDIA RTX 280, you can turn on ray tracing. You have an AMD Radeon 7, you cannot. However, right now the number of games with ray tracing is really low. Battlefield 5 is basically the only one that's relevant uh, Metro Exodus coming out soon. That should be beautiful and supposed to have ray tracing support, but that's basically it. So I don't think ray tracing is a super important feature right now, and that makes the performance of the AMD Radeon 7 really appealing. So on the whole, the AMD Radeon 7 is a really great flagship video card. It costs $699, and that's a lot of money, but I think that's where the real flagships exist. Yeah, NVIDIA has the RTX 280 Ti. If you want to spend $1299 on a video card, it is going to beat this, but that's way too expensive for most gamers to afford. For most gamers, this is the practical high end. And I do think right now, the AMD Radeon 7 has NVIDIA's RTX 280 beat. Hey, thanks for watching my review of the AMD Radeon 7. If you liked what you saw, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe.